Hey everyone, it's Leanne Epp. Welcome to DIY Beauty on Purpose. Today I am bringing you another farmhouse thrift store flip that I am absolutely in love with. All right, so for my first DIY, I am going to start with this beautiful glass, uh, what, it, what do we call it? like a pedestal tray? <laughs> I don't know. I just love the way it looks. However, it's just not my style right now and it does have a lot of scratches. So I'm gonna give it three coats actually of Rust-Oleum chalk paint in the chiffon cream. Now normally it wouldn't take this many coats but I think it's because it was glass. It, um, you can still see a lot of the brush strokes. So I want it to be nicely covered. So I did three full coats. Once the three coats were fully dry, I am not going to wet distress it. I'm doing wet distress because it is glass. I do not want any sandpaper ruining um, the glass or breaking. I'm, I'm not going to do that. So wet distressing is what I'm going to do. And it's just a damp towel. And I'm just going to go over some of the areas that would normally distress, like the edges and the little details. And I'll do that until I am satisfied with what I see. Now I am going to seal everything using Verithane Polyurethane in the Crystal Clear and I'm just going to give it a good heavy coat. Only one coat is necessary. And once the top coat was fully dry, I am now going to, to distress it a little bit more or I guess antique it a little bit more using the Waverly Antiquing Wax. And I'm just going to add very, very small amounts on the edges, on the details, like the little corners. And I'm just going to add it with a small brush and then wipe off a lot of the excess. I just want this to be more of a detail. And to finish things off, I'm just going to add some raffia ribbon to the bottom or the, uh, I guess the core bottom. Um, and I'm just going to do a simple bow and that's it. I'm going to add some Dollar Tree fall flowers and we'll be all done. And I actually love the way this turned out.
Before we move on to DIY number two, I want to tell you about my new channel, Beauty on Purpose at Home. It's an extension of this channel, but it's all about home inspiration, vlogs, hauls, just shopping and organizing and cleaning and I'd love to connect with you there as well so if you want to check that out I'll have the link down below in the description box all right so this tin bucket I got at the thrift store when I was in Florida and I did a thrift with me haul and um, it's just a bit too shiny so I want to rough it up a little bit using uh, some metallic light and dark grays from folk art from walmart in a little sponge app, uh, brush like stenciling brush and i'm just gonna dab 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 all around it giving it a more rustic galvanized look And here I just want to show you the difference. So here's what it's looking like. More dull, more rustic. And then here's the original. It's a lot shinier. So I do want it to have more of a rustic look. So I'm going to continue to add the same technique all over the other side as well. Alright, so after the paint dry, I am now going to rough it up a little bit more and make it a little bit more rustic by adding some of the Waverly Antiquing Wax and the same sponge brush. And I'm just going to dab on the edges, corners, and just very little towards the middle. And this is going to give it a very rusty kind of look, like the tin can has rusted over the months. And that's the look I want this to have. And I'll do that all around it, the upper bottom rims, as well as the two little handles. And we are just about done with this one. I'm going to add some fall florals in a beautiful yellow and we'll be done. And I absolutely love the way this turned out. All right, so before we move on to DIY number three and final DIY, I want to tell you about my friend Jackie at Blast Beyond Measure. She has her channel filled with tons of inspiration, farmhouse decor, Dollar Tree uh, DIYs. I mean, she is so talented, guys. I came upon her channel and I just, I was in love instantly with her style and her just talent so I have her channel linked down below I would love for you to check her channel out let her know you came from me show her some love and subscribe to her channel I promise you you won't be disappointed
All right, so for DIY number three and final DIY, I got this cork board here uh, locally at one of the thrift store and I instantly grabbed it. It was $3.99, but it was half off. So I got it for it about, about $2.00. And um, I quickly knew what I wanted to create with it. I am going to create like a command center kind of. And so I'm going to remove this little board that it has on the bottom. It's just just hooked up with several screws. So I'm going to remove those screws from the bottom. And that way I'll just have the cork board. I want the corkboard to also be a little bit of a sign so I'm going to add these it's so good to be home stencil on the bottom left of the corkboard that way I don't know I guess it just farmhouses it a little bit and also it just adds just a nice little touch there. piece of plywood I got at the hardware store in the scrap wood area and it was already this size I did not have to cut it or anything I grabbed it it was only a few um, not even a few dollars it was very inexpensive and it was in my garage so I dusted it off and now I'm going to give it two coats of regular household paint this is a Valspar white paint and um, that's it I'm just going to give it the two coats Once the paint was dry on the other side, I flipped it over and now I'm going to add a couple of hooks. I want to add these hooks to the back before I add anything to the front. That way it's nice and easy to be able to add the hooks. I'm a ghost in these walls Or at least I try to be Cause I hope that I'm not showing How I feel for her now it's time to put everything together. So the cork board is gonna go on the upper left hand corner of the um, big board, I guess the white board. And I'm going to secure it using one inch wood screws on each corner. I am now going to add three farmhouse style hooks to the bottom of the whiteboard. This will be to hang either decor hats scarves jackets whatever it may be but i think adding these three to the bottom would be such a cute touch and as you can tell <laughs> this crew is not wanting to go in i finally got it to go in but boy was it giving me a hard time Like she stole my heart Without knowing she did But I guess that it will pass Yeah, I can't be the only one Who got lost inside the blue of those eyes 
And then I decided to add a couple of clips to the right side of the board. And um, I'm just going to attach it using some screws. And then we'll be done with this one, guys. Seriously, this was very simple, very easy. But what a great way to reuse this cork board. And both the clips and the hooks I got on Amazon. And they're on my Amazon store, which is linked down below. A lot of the products that I use are linked down below in my Amazon store. And this is it for today, guys. I'm so happy with the way everything turned out. Please let me know what your favorite is on the bottom in a comment. And look how beautiful that looks. Absolutely stunning. Anyways, so thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're visiting for the first time, I want to say welcome. I hope you consider subscribing. I'd love to see you here again. And if you're returning, as always, I'm so thankful that you take the time to watch. So thankful for your support. And guys, be safe out there and have a blessed, blessed day.